today we're in a weird mood. So we're going to read Threadbare by Mick Inkpen. Funny! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to read it. The rabbit is. Aren't you rabbit? Aren't you rabbit? Good. Let us begin. The Red Bird by Mink Ink Pen. Let's begin. Ben Fair was called Threadbare. He was all mixed. He was all bits of him had worn out. Or was he got out. He had a paw which didn't match. Didn't match. A button for an eye. When he looked through the button, he saw four pictures instead of one. It was like looking in a television shop window. But there was one thing that had always been wrong with that bird. The green man who had made him had put too much stuff in inside him. His arms were too hard, his legs were too hard, and there was so much stuffing inside his tummy that his speaker had not been squashed. It had never squeaked, not even once. Da -da -da. Oh, Red Bear hated having a speaker in his tummy that wouldn't squeak. It made him feel that he was letting Ben down. Ben's frog could croak, his space monster could squeal. <laughs> And his electronic robot could burble away for hours if his batteries even were the right way round, even the little toy that Ben called grazing could make a noise and nobody knew what grazing was meant to be. Get reading there. Nobody could make the birds squeak or work. Ben's dad couldn't do it. His mom couldn't do it. Oh my god, his mom's ugly. Nor could his auntie or grandma. <laughs> Nor could any of his friends. He has friends. <laughs> when Ben had measles, he asked the doctor about Fredbear's squeaker. The doctor listened. Who had a big nose? Tummy, but there was no squeak, not even the faintest sign of words. No! The other toys tried to help. If you had a winder like me, we could wind you up, said Frog. If you're made of rubber, like me, we could squelch you, said the space monster. If you had batteries like me, we could turn you on, said the robot. It was not much sleep. Why don't you ask Father Christmas, said Grayson. Because he doesn't exist. He knows all about toys. This was a brilliant idea for Grayson. When a little pink. But where does Father Christmas live, asked Dead Bear. At the place called the North Pole. The grey thing. You can get, you can get to it up the chimney, I think. So, weird man. The red bear had never climbed up a chimney before. It was hard work. He tried a long turn and fell down, but he did not give up. It was long after bedtime when Fred bear poked his head out the chimney pot. This must be the North Pole. <coughs> Who wrote this book? I'm having words. Not wrote. She did rip everybody. Rick Bear sat down to wait for Father Christmas. He waited and waited, but Father Christmas did not seem to be coming. The moon rose into the sky, and Threadbare began to doze. Threadbare could only hear the squeaker trees as they came into the land. In the land, yeah, whatever. Squeaker trees! Squeaker trees! Ah! Right. 
Suddenly, Father Christmas stares like a hole there into his sleigh. They flew. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> they flew over the top of the world and on the land where the squeaker trees grow. Dad Bear could hear the squeaker trees as they came into the land. That's confusing.
press the back, love. Yeah, it just fails when we're in an important moment. <laughs> and it's just tap like you need to know. Stop it already, you can't. The end.